Champagne in the locker room, but still, this win has to feel very good against a ranked team. At Definitely, no, not because they ranked, just because our team played Maryland basketball. That's why it feels good. You know, we play the way we're supposed to play, and then we're going to take it from there. When they uh, cut a 16-point uh, lead to three, any concern whatsoever on your part? No, it wasn't any concern. You know, it's the ACC. We knew coming out, you know, half time they were going to make a run. You got to give them credit. They ranked. They put a good team. Pretty good coach. So we just stayed together. We stayed together and we you know we got the win. How did you guys attack their size? Um, we, we just trying to, we were trying to be aggressive and I think I missed a couple of layers and then but well, Landon was being so aggressive in the playing and even I mean so did Jordan. So everybody was just being being aggressive, getting uh, second chances and then I mean, we showed in that we, we, you know, we came to play. So it was, I mean, it wasn't easy, but we did, our, we did, you know, what we practiced the whole week. You guys think it takes kind of a team effort against a team that had that big. To, uh, Definitely, you know, you when when your team play like that, you have to be, you have to be happy, but not satisfied. I think our teams, our the team we playing on Tuesdays, you know, about the same size, so we have to carry it out to the next game. So we just gotta keep working. Davis, can you talk about your confidence out there? Six straight games over 20 points. Just talk about, you know, after a slow start to the season, how feel how you feeling out there? Well, my family always tells me, and then my friends, it's not how you start, how you finish. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just gonna finish strong. And then it's not, it's not really about the points that I score. It's just, you know, it's, it's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to lead my team. And then I think my teammates are doing a great job. You know, since since the beginning, even though I wasn't scoring as many points. My team is where I was on my back, helping me out, supporting me, and um, I feel like right now we're clicking, right? And we're clicking in the right way, and then we're gonna take it from there. Come out of the gate this way, when you know you got for the game in two days. Oh, it's huge! You know, we uh, it's a ranked team coming in here. Of course, they would get a lot of people, and uh, you know, we wanted to get off to a great start in the ACC, and uh, I think we did a very good job doing that tonight because we have, you know, like you said, we have uh, a couple road games coming. Here. Be surprised the way Gravis pulled up. You guys had numbers at one point. Gravis pulled up for three and then did the shimmy. Are you used to that by now? Yeah, I'm pretty used to it. You know, I was, I was expecting when the play was developing. I, I, I pretty much knew he was going to pull up for three. You know, this would be a huge momentum builder, and uh, it was something that you know it was, it was a good play on his part. Thank you, Were you getting the, uh, the the outside looks that you and and your teammates because their defense was packed in, or because you guys had an inside out thing going? It was a little bit of both, you know. Um, I don't, we came into the game knowing that, you know, when, when guys drive, they like to, you know, collapse, collapse lane and, and make guys you know, kick it out. So uh, we knew that going in and, and landed, and, you know, Jordan got the ball a little bit, and got a little inside out action as well. So I think it was just a combination of both. Was there anything, was there anything different uh, as far as you guys? Was it just you guys making three pointers, the same shots were there, or just that they actually went in this time? Was that basically? Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, we tried to make a certain effort of, you know, playing inside out. Uh, but when you're shooting like that, and maybe shot in the second half, you know, it's kind of hard not to, not to shoot those shots. Talked about like, you know, like, in the end of the year, talking about the collapse of their defense or what they like to do on the defense of the with Solomon out for 15 minutes in the first half. Is it foul trouble? You seem to get, you guys seem to really take advantage of that opportunity and not having him, you know, in the lane with that big presence. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a huge guy, real long, black slide of shots. And having him in foul trouble early, I think, was, was big for us because, uh, you know, we were able to do a little more inside action with Landon and, you know, Jordan and, uh, and James in the first half there. And, uh, you know, once he came back in the game, you know, it, it kind of changed a little bit because of the side. You know. Eric, the whole team seemed to be at a better offensive rhythm tonight. Uh, a product of practice or just one of those good games for the team? I think a little bit of both. You know, we've uh, been practicing real well, uh, trying to share the ball and run good offense. And uh, if we're sharing the ball like that and guys making shots like they were tonight, then uh, I think we're a pretty good offensive team. Four sheet and uh, it's only the seniors who are in double figures. In a game like this, is that, you know, the way, you know, it should be you guys putting the team on your back? No, I mean, you know, that's, that's something that you need, you know, with seniors on the team, that, that type of leadership. But, um, you know, we have a type of team that is capable of everybody on the court getting double figures any night. And um, you know, this 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 night this night was just real, real you know familiar to us because last year we came we went down there and we thought we could have had a win and we didn't get it. And um, you know, me, Grace, and Harry came in with the mindset that we, we weren't gonna let that happen again. 
Uh, we just kind of came out there and tried to do it, you know, everything we could to get that win. So we got it. Atlanta. I mean, they, they came in here and actually ranked a very big lineup. How how big was it to come out of the gate in the conference this way? Um, it was real big. I mean, we've been focused all week for this. You know, we, we did a lot of um, talking about it last night, and um, we just came in with, with a good attitude. Today. Everybody was in tune. Three, four um, minutes. You know, we trusted each other. We trusted the offense. We listened to coach, and um, you know, it just worked out for us. Coming into the game, they had the size advantage with the height inside. What kind of message did it send that you guys went down to, went down at them early and challenged them? Um, you know, when you got mismatches like that, you know, as far as guys, you know, being taller than you, sometimes you got to utilize that and try to get them in foul trouble. I think we did a good job of that, especially the first couple of plays. We got LB out of there pretty quickly. And, um, you know, that's that's real big because that's a big part of their team. And he, you know, he's the leading scorer on their team. So with him out of the game, you know, it kind of kind of opened a little bit up for us. And, um, you know, we just try to keep keep doing that. You know, every time every time he was in the game and Jordan posted him up, we try to give him the ball and take it to him. So, you know, we, we, we were pretty smart when it came to that. And, uh, you know, that's, that might be a tool that we have to use when we go against bigger teams. Despite their size advantage, you guys stuck with man-to-man -man defense all, mm -hmm. all night. Does that send the, uh, is that as much a reinforcement for you guys as it was? Obviously, it was effective on the court, too. But, you know, just for you guys personally, is that a reinforcement to you, knowing that you guys can do that against bigger teams? I mean, that's just how we play. I mean, we, that's how we play. That's how we practice. We, we're a man-to-man -man team. And, um, we, we, we have a lot of accountability on each other as far as not letting your man score. And, um, you know, we help each other out when it's, when it's time is needed. But for the most part, you know, we, we, we take real pride in stopping our own men. And, um, you know, that's our best defense, man to man. And, um, you know, we play zone every now and then, but for the most part, it's man to man. And we did a good job of that tonight, considering how big they were. Can you talk about the mentality of the team in terms of rebounding? Yeah, um, you know, we just, we, we already rebounded them last year. And, um, you know, that carried over a lot of confidence for us. And, um, you know, we came into this game thinking that we could do the same thing again. And uh, we did. You know, I mean, it was just a matter of us moving around and um, not standing still, trying to go out there every single ball. You know, not necessarily thinking you could get every ball, but at least affect it so that they can't get it. And um, try to tip it around or do whatever we can to get that rock. And we got it.